Hi, in this video we are going to talk about Morse sort algorithm. Morse sort is a divide and conquer algorithm. It first divides your input array or list into two parts. Then it recursively sorts these two parts and after sorting these two parts it merges them. The implementation that I have just talked about is a typical implementation of Morse sort and there are variants that exist. The good thing about Morse sort algorithm is it is a stable sorting algorithm. It maintains the original order of equal items. The next good thing about Morse sort is it works in theta n log n time, which is the best possible time you can get on a single processor and for random input. The one bad thing about Morse sort is it takes big O of n extra space. It's not an in-place sorting algorithm in its normal form. However, there have been optimizations and variants of Morse sort. There is a variant called block Morse sort that works in n log n time and in place. But in its typical form, it takes big O of n auxiliary space. The next good thing about Morse sort is it's well suited for external sorting. We can bring in parts of input to be sorted in RAM. We can sort those parts. And by sorting the parts, we can sort the whole array as well, whole input as well. We don't have to have the whole input in RAM. One more bad thing about quick sort, uh, merge sort, it is outperformed by quick sort. In general, for arrays, not for lists, for linked lists, for arrays, quick sort in general works better than Mars sort. But Mars sort is still used a lot in many standard library implementations. Your Perl library is using Mars sort. Java 8 uses both quick sort and Mars sort depending upon the input type. Python uses a variation of Mars sort called Tim sort, which is Mars sort plus insertion sort variation.